Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for um, mid-July 2024. Uh, we are going to jump right in here. Uh, you start off with this card. It says, Path to Knowledge. You're you are journeying into the realm of knowledge to assist in personal growth. You have this future card. It says you have perfect clarity in the situation. Trust your inner knowingness. So you clearly know something <laughs> and you just need to uh, get creative and work on it. So uh, definitely creativity. You start with the um, Empress. You have the Empress, the Page of Wands, and the Lovers. And I feel like the Empress is talking about creativity and, and literally birthing something. You know, of course, you're very attractive at this time, as always, Scorpio. You know, the Empress can represent it doesn't matter what gender you are it can just represent getting a lot of attention or standing out so you know and you have the sun here as well and the sun also represents standing out getting a lot of attention you know we'll talk about it in just a minute but uh, what I would say is I think that the Empress in your reading is more talking about, uh, and you have another card right here of creativity. I was going to say creativity. So I think that it's really, this reading is talking about you getting creative on um, the way that you accomplish things, the way that you work on things. And um, also if you have just any creative ideas, I think that your creative ideas are going to be very fruitful for you. And, you know, it looks to me like maybe it's, it's kind of like I see your life as a zigzag, Scorpio. <laughs> you know, I feel like there have been a lot of um, ups and downs in, in Scorpio right here, a lot of sideways movement. Um, I feel that for a lot of you that right now, um, you know, I, I think that be, before July, June, mid, mid June, maybe it's like you were kind of up and then things have come down a little bit. Didn't I say this to you recently? I'm pretty sure I did. But I could be wrong. It might not might not have been you. And I feel like you're trying to get back up in, in life, just in general. And I think that the answer to you for you is to get creative, to focus on creative opportunities. But I also think you have a lot of creative ideas that could, you know, the Empress is all about fertility and, and birth and birthing something new. And so I feel if you kind of um, release these ideas that you will be very successful. Even the um, Page of Wands, can also represent a new journey. You know, the Page of Wands represents having a new idea and going on this journey. Now, he follows his enthusiasm, and I think that a problem for pretty much everybody alive right now is that there's no proof that what we want to do is going to work. And actually, there's also a lot of proof <laughs> that that things definitely will not work. And so our job, I believe, is to face the fear and do it anyway. I think everybody has to do this, but it's coming up in your reading right now. So I would say that you definitely have to do this if you have an idea, it could be anything, to start a business, to move, to whatever, I think that this is saying you need to follow your enthusiasm. You know, I always say that the Page of Wands, he just feels excited about an adventure. And even if he doesn't have the resources, even if he doesn't have what he needs, he figures it out and just does it. So I think it would be a great time for you to kind of like figure things out and get moving towards whatever you're trying to create with the um, Page of Wands. Uh, you also have the Lovers. The Lovers can represent love. Of course, there is a little bit of love here. You have the Knight of Cups as well, which would be like a knight in shining armor. But I feel for you that the lovers, you know, is talking about having a choice to make. Traditionally, the lovers was a card um, about having a choice. It was about being at a crossroads and making a choice uh, towards your heart, maybe, or towards something that you will love. And we go up to the ace of pentacles here. So I feel like there could be a big opportunity that is coming in for you uh, with this Ace of Pentacles. You even have the Four of Cups below this, and the Four of Cups says new opportunity on it. <laughs> and so you have a million uh, opportunity cards showing up in this reading. You have a million cards that really say that something new is kind of being birthed into your life, and it's something that you need to kind of ground in this reality. Uh, with the Empress, you have the Eight of Wands, quick success, so Eight of Wands is about uh, being successful very quickly. Whatever this idea is, if you have an idea, uh, I feel it could be successful very quickly. I also like think that you need to turn your your ears on, right? I think that you need to listen to the things that are going on around you. Uh, so if you don't have an idea, I think you will be getting an idea this half of the month by listening and listening maybe in reading between the lines and all that other good stuff. I feel like I said that too recently as well. Um, you know, I'm, I'm having major deja vu today <laughs> in all in all over the place, right? And I feel like I said that to you recently where it's like you need to read between the lines. You're Scorpio. It's like you're meant to be a detective. You're meant to look into things that are not being said, but there could be an opportunity there. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Empress. See, here's the thing. We have the Empress to the Sun. 
the sun is like a spotlight in your life. You know, the sun is the best card in the tarot, and, you know, it's very good. It can bring good luck and happiness and bliss and total joy into your life. But the sun really shines a light on things that you need to pay attention to. So it's kind of like having a spotlight in, in your life. It's kind of like, um, you know, sometimes the sun can come up in a reading and something captures your attention and you need to pay attention to your attention, you know, with the sun. And so I feel, I feel that for a lot of you. Uh, with the lovers, you have the fool. The fool is about taking a leap of faith towards something that you want or desire. And I definitely feel it would be a great time for you to take a leap of faith towards something you want and desire in your life. Uh, this is probably a new choice. It's, you know, it's the Ace of Pentacles. It's a new opportunity that's coming in for you. And I feel it's going to be very prosperous for you as well here, Scorpio. So I, I feel like saying don't give up. You know, I, I feel like because of what I said at the beginning of the reading, it's almost like you've had a little bit of a dip in your life at this time. Maybe maybe you're making less money or, um, you know, I kind of get the feeling that some of you have started something like a project or a business or whatever your career, career is. And it's like you're trying to get back up is what I keep wanting to say. And I really feel the fool is kind of saying not only take a leap of faith, but don't give up. Uh, next in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this mantis shrimp. It says combat, vision, uh, vibrational sensitivity. You have this chicken. It says fertility, <laughs> renewal, and communication. They're very fertile reading. So we have a bunch of cards of fertility and growth and abundance here, which is great. Uh, I do feel like you need to pay attention to the vibes. Again, that could be where you are reading between the lines. You know, if you get a good vibe about something, then it's probably good for you. If you get a bad vibe about something, you should protect yourself and trust that as well. We have the Queen of Pentacles. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, this is the perfect card for her, is the bear, because, you know, she is all about protection and protecting what is hers and protecting her feelings as well. On a traditional Queen of Pentacles, she has the, the little rabbit, you know, on the bottom of the card, and the rabbit can represent fertility and abundance, but it can also represent fears and anxiety. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles, she's focused on that pentacle. She's not focused on the fear and the anxiety of her situation. So she is kind of like protecting herself. And I think that's, you know, the perfect meaning for you in this in this um, situation is that you're protecting what is yours. You're protecting your ideas. But I also think you need to focus on the good stuff with the sun. The sun is all about being optimistic and really listening to uh, your heart and your inner voice and kind of focusing on the good things. You know, even on the sun, normally that little baby on the sun has that wall that, wall that is behind him and he's like protecting his happiness. You have this justice card. It says truth, uh, natural law, and righting wrongs. So I, I do feel that some of you could be kind of righting a wrong here, but I think it's more coming in as a gift. And I think that the gift is the Ace of Pentacles. So you know, if, if someone has wronged you or a situation has wronged you like a job or a business, I feel that you're getting a new opportunity that is definitely going to be like more of a blessing for you or is going to bring more joy into your life. We have the sun here. Uh, I definitely feel you need to pay attention to your attention. I do feel like it's a very lucky reading. There's clearly like a change in your fortunes going on here. I'm surprised that the Wheel of Fortune uh, hasn't necessarily shown up here. Even in the area of the good stuff, you have the Nine of Wands, uh, that Scorpion card. And the Nine of Wands would never would normally represent kind of like a never-ending nightmare. Uh, but the Nine of Wands, I think, because it's coming up in the good stuff, you know, I always say it's my card of going round and round on something, but coming up in the good stuff, it would say you're escaping like a round and round situation or you're moving away from something that has been round and round. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Wands here. Um, you have these knights. Sorry, I just hit the mic. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, but... Uh, you know, I feel for a lot of you, this is again talking about adventure, just like the Page of Wands. They're very similar. The one difference is that the Knight of Wands, if he doesn't have something, he builds it. So he is like the true builder in the tarot. And if he doesn't have something for his journey, he, he just creates it. And so again, very creative reading. Uh, with the Justice card, you have the Devil. I definitely feel like you've dealt, you're coming off of a toxic period of time, uh, especially with the Nine of Wands. So whether you're dealing with a toxic person or a toxic work environment, I feel like that's where justice will be coming in in the form of a gift. I don't necessarily think you're going to, you know, see someone getting karma or anything like that. I think that this is more saying that you're receiving a blessing. Uh, with the sun, you have the four cups. Love it. I love this four cups. This is from the White Sage Tarot. That didn't work. Um, this is from the White Sage Tarot. And you can see these three cups are all pouring into one cup. So I do feel that part of the blessing that you'll be receiving 
is your cup being filled. And even here, we have the four cups going this way as well. So whenever a card repeats itself in a reading, it's kind of like the universe saying, I meant what I said. So there are clearly some big you know, blessings coming in here. Uh, in the area of messages from your future self, you have this firefly and this elk. So the firefly represents uh, kind of like a spark of hope or a spark of inspiration, uh, kind of like the star card. And the elk represents taking the lead on this you know, spark of hope or spark of inspiration. And you also have the ace of pentacles. The ace of pentacles is being, you know, you being given an opportunity that has potential. So th that is, um, I love the ace of pentacles, but I also think that's the problem with the ace of pentacles is that it only represents potential and potential doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you know, potential is how much effort you give to something. And this sun card here says hard work creates good luck. So I think that if you're getting an opportunity with the ace of pentacles, that this is something that you're going to want to really invest your time, effort, and energy into. You know, I look at the Ace of Pentacles as a garden. You have to water it, feed it, fertilize it, give it sunlight, take care of it, you know, all that other good stuff, get the bugs out, you know. So I feel for a lot of you that this could be, uh, you know, this card says divine gift on it. It could be a divine gift coming in for you, but I do feel it needs to be like nurtured and taken care of. I feel, you know, how it's a white buffalo on this card, which is very unique. And you know, I feel that you have the four cups here, and the four cups normally is a guy. He's sitting there on the card. You know, he's sitting there. He's got three cups in front of him, and there's another cup reaching out, but he's got his arms crossed across his chest, and he thinks that this opportunity that's coming in for him is just like all the other opportunities that he has already experienced. So I feel that there is something here about needing to see that a new opportunity is very unique in your life, or it will be unique, or it is very different than anything you've experienced before. The other interesting thing I'm getting here is that if this is a person that's coming in for you, I feel like everybody in this person's life makes the same mistake. <laughs> I, I, I just get that feeling off of this card where I feel like everyone that has ever like dated this person or even people that have worked with this person, it's like they always take this person for granted. So again, you might be meeting a person soon. And I do feel that, if, especially if you want love. And I feel like this person... It's kind of like they're, you know, I don't want to say that they're too good to be true, but, you know, it kind of gives me that feeling where it's like maybe they just seem a little bit too good to be true. And I think everybody thinks this about this person. And um, so, again, I would not, don't take this person for granted. Not that you would, but I'm just saying, you know, I think that this could be a really good person. I also wouldn't ignore any offers that you're receiving here because that four cups is like an offer, but you're not accepting it into your life. You know, like the, the four cups, he needs to grab onto that cup and accept it. And we have the good four cups right here, the, this one. So again, I think this is a person who really pours into connections, who's a real giver. And, you know, this is like a knight in shining armor, someone who brings joy and happiness into your life. Um, you know, this is like true romance with the Knight of Cups. So I feel for a lot of you, if you're attracting a person, I would, this looks like a very good, un unique opportunity. Let's put it that way. Um, so let's see what is going on here. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Three of Cups and the High Priestess. I would trust your intuition on this. Three Cups is a celebration. This is all kind of, also kind of telling me that this person is like equivalent to three people. You know, we have, we have the Four Cups where there are three cups pouring into one cup. And then you have the Three Cups here um, with the High Priestess. The th so I kind of feel like this person has enough energy for like 20 lifetimes. <laughs> it could be that type of person. I feel like, and how would you know this, right? I think it's important to talk about like, how would you know like who this person is or, you know, because you might be meeting a lot of people, right? And what I would say is I, like, I would look at the results this person gets in life. You know, you might be meeting a person and I think they have a lot of results, you know, and that, that could be, um, you know, successes that they've had in their life. Um, they could be like a very healthy person or they could be mentally healthy. And again, I would trust the evidence. I think we're in a time where we all really, there's a lot of evidence and we need to trust the evidence. So we, but we also need to look for it. So I, I would look at like the results this person has got in their life and, you know, kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together. Uh, with the four of cups, you have the page of cups. Yes. Are you kidding? Um, you know, one cup, the page of cups is holding on to one cup. And so this could be a love offer for sure. Uh, by the way, if you don't want love, I feel that, and even if you do, I do also feel that a lot of you are working on improving your financial situation, especially if you've gone down, like we were talking about at the beginning of the reading. 
I feel like you're about to go back up, right? Um, but the Page of Cups and also the Knight of Cups would represent injecting part of your dream into what you're working on. And so if you have bigger ideas for the work that you're doing, you need to start like injecting some of those ideas into what you're doing with creativity because you have these creativity cards and that's where the success will come from. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Four of Swords. This is like healing. Some of you could be going still healing from a past situation. This person could actually help with your healing, or they could be, um, you know, they could be making you stronger. It's kind of a weird message. Like I feel like someone brings you strength as well, and that could be another clue. Like if you meet a person and you feel more uplifted or stronger around them, then that could be a clue. Uh, you have a Scare Beetle. It says magic works through you. You have the skunk spirit says know your worth. So I feel that this is about knowing your value in the world. Empress, you know, you have the empress twice here. Uh, on a very simple level, the empress, she really values herself. And because of that, you know, she is a card of self-care and she really takes care of herself. If we don't take care of ourselves, we are not loving ourselves, right? And I feel that this is saying it's time for you to kind of really um, focus on doing things that um, prove to yourself that you love yourself. <laughs> I hope that makes sense, what I just said. But I would do the thing, those things. It's like, I even think sometimes, like when people stop doing their hobbies or stop taking care of themselves and all those other things that, you know, those are the things that you need to get back to. And by doing that, you can invite more good energy in. And that's what I would do with these two cards. Uh, you have the Nine of Wands, the Tower, and the King of Pentacles. Again, these are coming up in the good stuff, so I feel like you are ending the cycle of the Tower. I feel like you've kind of been undergoing um, like one change after another, and maybe for some of you, you've it's been like a condensed period of time. So you know, maybe your last two years or so have been very rapid changes, one after the other, and it's been like hard to keep up. And I feel here that this card is saying that you've developed a lot of strength and um, yeah, you know, even, even the reverse of the Nine of Swords represents being brave. You know, uh, to get out of his situation, the guy on the Nine of Swords, he has to be brave. He's, he it has had a nightmare. He's woken up. He's stuck in a nightmare. But I always say the Nine of Swords, he's not uncomfortable enough to make a change. So his problem is that he's kind of sitting in an uncomfortable comf comfort zone, right? <laughs> and so I feel some of you, the good news is, is that you are breaking free from an uncomfortable, comfortable comfort zone. And I hope that makes sense. Uh, you have the tower. And again, this is uh, you know coming up in the area of the good stuff. So you're probably setting yourself free from a big tower moment that you've had, something that you still probably think about. I think this is changing who you are. You know, the snake is part of the uh, Scorpio's journey. You know, you there are three. There are really like four, but there are like three stages of Scorpio. You know, the Scorpio and the eagle and the snake. Um, you know, there's actually one more, but you know, again, like I said, there are like three stages of who you are, and I feel like you are ending one stage and going to the next. Uh, you have the King of Pentacles. You also have the Queen of Pentacles, right? Am I making that up? And sorry, I keep I moved my micro, I moved my setup around, and I keep hitting this mic. But um, you know, again, I feel for a lot of you that this could be. A, oh yeah, right here. Um, so this could be a divine counterpart here, uh, and with the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. And uh, I really like the King and Queen of Pentacles together because they want to build something long term. They want something that lasts a long time. Uh, with the Nine of Wands, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like you've healed, and now you are ready for this connection. Uh, I also feel like you are kind of building wealth, and so a lot of you are clearly improving your financial situation. With the Tower, you have the Queen of Cups. So again, follow your heart. The Queen of Cups really listens to her inner voice and her heart. Uh, with the uh, King of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Wands. <laughs> I kind of feel like you could be dealing with a person who has some boundaries up as well. So again, if you are meeting a new person, uh, they might be like a little slow at first, or they might be, they might just, you know, kind of be taking their time, or um, they might want to take their time in a connection. Uh, you have this tree card. It says affairs with your family. Um, some of you are definitely dealing with family things, but again, I think this is good. You have the Empress twice. She's a really good card for family and family issues. Uh, you have this October card and happy birthday, Scorpio, in October. And you have this tulip. It says great passion. I feel like you're kind of slowly but surely returning to yourself, like who you truly are and who you truly think you are as well. So a lot of you are kind of, I, I think I said earlier, I'm surprised that the Wheel of Fortune hasn't shown up in this reading, uh, and, you know, especially with that Nine of Wands. You know, um, I feel like that Nine of Wands could be talking about like a cycle or um something like that. I was getting something about repeating something. And, I, I, and, and I'm and i sorry because I was interpreting that Nine of Wands as the Nine of Swords for some reason, which is weird. But 
it, it, you know, I feel like that was intuitive, so go with it. But I feel like you're returning to yourself. Uh, you have this happiness card. There's definitely a lot of things that are trying to enter into your life. I think the happiness is going to come through creativity. It's like when we create something, we also accomplish something. And I believe accomplishment is a great way to bring more happiness into your life. Uh, you have this frying pan. It says troubles, accusations. You have this person that says someone is behaving stupidly right here. You, I'm, uh, I'm going to pull you one more card because I feel like this card is connected. It says wedge someone in your life. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. So if you have a stupid person who is causing problems, I would definitely get rid of that person. Uh, you have this forest. It said muddled unclear thinking. I think this is what you're coming off of. I, I do feel things have been confusing. Um, you know, it's like you have feelings about things and you're processing those feelings, but I do feel things are about to become more clear. Uh, this is a really good reading, Scorpio. I like it. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.